Very good. Now let us continue with the next question. Okay. So what he is saying, guys, here? Calculate the EMF of the calculate the EMF of the following cell at a 25 degree Celsius. Okay. Of a zinc, he has given what? He has given a zinc, right? So of zinc and Cu2 plus given the standard reduction potentials i already told you he will be giving sometimes the standard reduction potential or else sometimes he will be giving only as a uh, electrode potential right but you need to consider it as an standard reduction potential until and unless he gives you oxidation potential right okay now okay so what is saying reduction potentials are how much now they are minus 0.76 and 0.34 one is minus 0.76 and the other is 0.34 so if you see here if you see uh, for what he has given is minus 0.76 is for zinc because zinc and cu are minus 0.76 and 0.34 that means this minus 0.76 belongs to zinc and this cu belongs to 0.34 right minus 0.76 belongs to zinc and Cu belongs to 0.34 right so now let us see so standard reduction potential of okay uh, what zinc is given as water uh, it is minus 0.76 and uh, reduction potential of Cu is water uh, is equal to 0.34 is equal to 0.34 right now what is saying calculate the emf right so what is the formula for emf i told you what is the formula for emf i told you right so oxidation potential of anode minus oxidation potential of cathode isn't it right oxidation potential of anode element minus oxidation potential of the cathode element right now if you see now if you see what he has given he has given as what reduction potential so what we need to find uh, we need to find the oxidation potential right so oxidation potential and the reduction potential relation is what uh, so oxidation potential is equal to is equal to negative of the reduction potential oxidation potential is equal to negative of the reduction potential so what we got uh, we got the reduction potential so oxidation potential of zinc is what a uh, negative of the reduction na? so already we have it as a negative already we have it as a negative so what we need to find uh, negative of negative is what positive so it is plus 0.76 it is plus 0.76 and we have what uh, so oxidation potential of what copper copper is what is equal to negative of this reduction so negative of that one it is minus 0.34 right now we got the oxidation potential and the so oxidation potential of what zinc and copper isn't it so what is the formula now oxidation potential of anode minus oxidation potential of cathode right so among this which one is going to act as anode which one is going to act as anode the most oxidation potential higher oxidation potential one will act as an anode and a lower oxidation potential will, one will act as what cathode so among 0.76 and 0 0.3 minus 0 0.34 which one is greater of course plus value is greater directly so we know 0 0.76 is greater than greater than minus 0 0.34 minus 0 0.34 isn't it so we can take this as an anode and this as an cathode because zinc is higher oxidation potential and copper is lower oxidation potential so carry on now we have what 0.76 right so emf is equal to emf is equal to 0.76 minus this is what minus 0.34 it is minus of minus 0.34 which is equal to what 76 plus 34 76 plus 34 is 1 that is uh, what 76 plus 34 is 110 so we get 1.10 as an emf so emf is what now 1.10 
So where is 1.10? Where is 1.10? Here it is. So plus 1.1 is an answer. This is minus wrong. This is plus 1.07 wrong. 1.13 wrong. So what is the answer? 1.10. That is 1.1. Is that clear? How to find the EMF? First, listen. First what he is giving? First what he is giving? He is giving the zinc and copper's reduction potential. Right? Remember one only one formula. That is oxidation potential at anode minus oxidation potential at cathode. Remember just that formula. Right? Now if you see anode we are having the oxidation potential as anode we are having the oxidation potential as what? Uh, he, he didn't give oxidation. He has given reduction. So right reduction potential of zinc is minus 0.76 right and reduction potential of copper is 0.34 right. So if you see now if you see now EMF is what oxidation potential at anode minus oxidation potential at cathode. So oxidation potential is what negative of reduction. So change the apply negative sign positive will become negative negative will become positive by applying negative sign. So minus 0.76 will become plus 0.76 and 0 0.34 will become minus 0 0.34. Then EMF is what? Uh, this minus this. So minus of minus is plus 1.10. That's it. Now, how to know which is anode and which is cathode? Always listen. Always listen. Higher oxidation potential. Higher oxidation potential will become anode. Higher oxidation potential will become anode. And what? And lower oxidation potential okay lower oxidation potential will become cathode right lower oxidation potential will become cathode higher one will become anode okay so that's it very simple if you learn in this way it will be very very better okay and i think this is already asked in ESET, which will be very very important okay 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 will be asked in E set. Okay. So take that question. We'll go with the next question now. Right. Are you clear with the question? What is asking? Very, very simple. If you know the process, first C reduction potential is given. Change them into oxidation potential. Which one is more oxidation potential? Take it as an anode. Which one is less oxidation potential? Take it as a cathode. EMF is what? Oxidation potential at anode minus oxidation potential at cathode. That's it. Okay. So in this way you can go through the concepts. Is that clear? Right. So, take that and we will go with the next question now. So, the function of uh, the function of salt bridge is if you see before question he has asked what he has asked which one will be the okay if you see before what he has asked uh, he has asked that what is the function or uh, why we are using the potassium chloride in the salt bridge. He, he, asked, he asked what? Why we are using the potassium chloride in what? In the salt bridge. Why we are using? Because the transport number of the K plus ion and uh, the Cl minus ion are similar. What he has asked guys? The transport number of K plus and Cl minus is what? Now what he is asking? Now he is asking the function of salt bridge is the function of salt bridge. Is what? Uh, to produce a link between two half cells. Isn't it? It is wrong. Why? Because, because already we have a battery connected to connect the two cells, right? Two half cells. Then why to use salt bridge again? So it is wrong. To connect uh, two cells, we are having the battery already. But salt bridge is not for that purpose, right? Wrong. To allow ions to go from one cell to another. To allow ions to go from the one cell to another. Is, is it is it right? No wrong. Because we are having already the battery through which we can use. Okay. You, however, the ions cannot be like ions, uh, the salt bridge is not meant for transferring of the ions, right? To keep the EMF of the cell positive, it is also not. To maintain electrical neutrality of the solution in two half cells, this is the right answer. I have given you very, very clear, clearly that what is the function of salt bridge and why we are using that. Isn't it? Did I tell you or not? I told you very clearly. Why we are using? To maintain, to maintain electrical neutrality between two half cells. To maintain electrical neutrality between two half cells. Isn't it? So that's what. This is the reason. Okay. Now, three Faraday's of electricity. Okay. 
three Faraday's of electricity was passed through an aqueous solution. Three Faraday's of electricity was passed through an aqueous solution. Very clearly, listen. Okay. So before that, guys, before that, take this notes. Take this notes. I am going to erase this. Then we will see the next question. Okay. So take this now completely. Then I am going to erase this. Then I will go with the next question. Right. Okay. Because this is very very important. Take this very clearly. Okay. Right. Take it down. Now, if you see, okay. Now, what is an answer, guys? What is our answer here? So, it is fourth option, right? Now, what is the next question? He is saying three Faraday's of electricity was passed. How many? Three Faraday's. So, write three Faraday's. Pass it through an aqueous solution, okay? The weight of iron metal, the weight of iron metal, he is asking weight of iron metal, right? So, weight of iron metal, iron metal, isn't it? Okay, now deposited at a cathode, deposited at a cathode gram, in grams, deposited at cathode, right? So, it is irrespective of cathode or anode guys, okay, it is irrespective of the cathode or, or anode because we know however metal gets deposited at cathode and uh, the gas gets liberated at uh, anode, already we know the metal gets deposited at uh, cathode, gas gets liberated at uh, anode, we know very clearly, right, okay. Now what we have, 3 Faraday's of electricity was passed, what was passed, 3 Faraday's of electricity was passed through what, through an aqueous solution, through an aqueous solution. So, he is saying 3 Faraday's. Now, we know he is asking what weight of iron metal deposited. So, what we know? We know that 1 Faraday, we know that 1 Faraday, 1 Faraday will give us what? 1 Faraday will give us equivalent weight. 1 Faraday will give us equivalent weight, isn't it? 1 Faraday will give us equivalent weight. Now, what he is saying guys? What is saying? He is saying what will be the 3 Faraday's will give? What will be the 3 Faraday's will give? We know 1 Faraday will always give equivalent weight of any substance, right? Now he is asking 3 Faraday's will give us what? 3 Faraday's. It give us 3 into equivalent weight. 3 into equivalent weight. Right or wrong? Isn't it? 1 Faraday will give us equivalent weight. Then 3 Faraday's will give us 3 into equivalent weight, right? Now, we know equivalent weight of which one is asking? Of iron metal. Do you know equivalent weight of iron metal? Do you know equivalent weight of iron metal? We don't know. So, equivalent weight is equal to, but we know formula. We know formula. So, equivalent weight is equal to atomic weight by, atomic weight by valency, right or wrong? equivalent weight is equal to atomic weight by valency, isn't it, right. So, now equivalent weight is equal to what of iron, na? so atomic weight of iron is what, it is 56, because see already he has given here, see atomic weight is given as 56, if he will not give also you need to remember, sometimes he will give if his mode is very well or sometimes he will not give us the atomic weight also, you need to remember that, okay. If you do not know the atomic weight and equivalent weight, you cannot answer this, right. You need to know the equivalent weight and atomic weight definitely. So, atomic weight he has given, it is 56 and valency, if you know equivalent weight, it is okay. If you do not know valency of iron without, uh, if you know atomic weight also, without knowing valency of the iron, you cannot find this. So, you need to know the valency of iron, what is that? It is 2, okay. So, valency of iron is 2 which is equal to 28, 28 grams. So, equivalent weight is how much? 28 grams. So, we know what? We know, remember, always these three things remember. So, silver, silver valency is, silver valency is equal to 1, okay. It is, silver valency is 1, that means atomic weight and equivalent weight for silver are same, that is 108 grams, remember, okay. And copper valency is 2 and iron that is 
ferrous iron ore ferrous valency is 2 ok copper and iron have same valency copper and iron have same valency silver is having 1 valency is 1 ok right now equivalent weight is what 28 grams atomic weight is what 56 grams now we got the equivalent weight of iron we got equivalent weight of iron it is what it is 28 grams now substitute this here so so 3 farads when you pass what it is going to give you so 3 farads will give you 3 into 28 that is equal to 2 3 is a 6 8 3 is a 24 so it is 84 it is 80 84 grams 84 grams right so is that clear he said 3 farads of electricity is passed then what is the iron deposited simply then we know 1 faraday will give us equivalent weight so 1 faraday is 28 grams of iron right 28 grams of iron and 3 faraday is nothing but 3 into 28 it is 84 grams that is it ok so what is answer now where is answer so 84 is the answer what is answer 84 grams so 56 is 56 is atomic weight that is 2 faraday's will give us 56 because 1 faraday will give us 28 2 faraday's will give us 56 3 faraday's give us 84 which was the asked question 1 to 12 1 to 12 is there anything like that so 1 to 12 uh, okay check it okay so 1 to 12 it will not give I think and 168 it will also not give so 3 faraday's will give us 84 grams 3 faraday's will give us 84 grams ok so b option 2 is our right answer ok so mark a note we will go with the next question i hope you are clear emf formula is very very important and uh, the calculation of the weight deposited is also very very important ok and uh, electrochemical cell electrical cell neutralization ionization all this you need to remember there is no neutralization you need to remember all the ion uh, what uh, like um, what we say like ions moving from one to light one to another and uh, electrolytic conduction electronic condition kcl bridge okay why we are using kcl in the bridge and uh, what is the salt bridge what is its necessity all these are very very important coming to the chapter of electrochemistry okay so make a note we now we'll go with the next question guys okay so take it down 